Hello everyone. As self-taught developer, I remember the first struggle of the journey was to figure out what to do from zero to get the first full-time paid programming job. And in this video, I will tell you about my roadmap from being stuck in dead-end job without time and money to land my first programming job in eight months and then changing it for one with double salary after another four months. First thing I have done was post on Reddit, asking the community there about chances of success for someone like me, without time and money for the bootcamp and without degree, without the network, to become a programmer. People were encouraging, sharing their own stories like I do with you today, so I decided to do my very best to become one. One of these people offered me a piece of advice which helped me with the next step which was writing a rough plan. So I wrote to him my idea of what I want to do. He responded with advice of taking cold steel web developer bootcamp to start with. The first problem was my lack of time. I was working six days a week as security guard, often 11 hours a day. And as a father of two, I had my parental responsibilities as well. That left me around 40 minutes uh, a day of free time. That was not enough to study. So I decided to reduce weightlifting training from five times to twice a week, reduce the sleep to absolute minimum that I could cope with and study in that time. As well, I gave myself at that point deadline of six months to start applying for jobs. I purchased web developer bootcamp course for $14.99 and that was the next step. I went through course course, finishing it in less than three months. Meanwhile, while commuting to work, I would watch YouTubers advice about building portfolio, what kind of projects to put there, to apply to jobs as soon as possible, etc. One of the things they mention is to not put code along projects from Udemy courses on portfolio unless you twist them in your own way. So I went through Yelp camp part again, making it a gym tester. I added a search bar and querying from database, average rating and few other details. First project on portfolio was ready. After that, unexpectedly, I was gifted zero to mastery full web development course. It was including React that I was interested in, so I decided to skip the fundamentals and take second half of it. Turned out the course wasn't great, but there were two good things about it. First, it encouraged me to make GitHub profile and start being active on the platform by pushing regular commits. And second, it had a portfolio template to use that saved me loads of time. I twisted that portfolio and put first gym tester project on it. I still couldn't do anything in React, which seemed to be top demanded framework where I live, so I purchased Stefan Grider's React course. I followed along the course trying to change details like grid layout and CSS framework. The course is outdated and based on React classes, but this instructor is amazing in one thing, drawing pipelines and graphs while explaining concepts. So. Because of it, and because of deadline that I have given myself was getting closer, I decided to leave the course on finish at 70% and get to one of two hardest, hardest steps in my roadmap. I needed to get out of tutorial hell, so I decided to build Calorie Demander using React classes. It took me three weeks to make this simple application, but it was definitely a key point in my roadmap. I linked it as second project on my portfolio, even though I wasn't proud of final result at all. I had two weeks left to my deadline, so for third portfolio project I decided to get something from YouTube tutorial with some changes again, like updating React Router to newer version. I looked up for ideas on YouTube on how to write CV without experience, how to pimp up LinkedIn profile with tools like Canva and what recruiters are looking for in GitHub profile. Feeling completely not job ready, I started job search on 3rd of January. I was applying for all the jobs that I could just submit quickly CV from LinkedIn 
all remote jobs in Spain and on-site in my city, also some remote jobs in UK. Even if I was hugely underqualified. If the position was named junior, I was keen to spend more time on application, writing cover letter or fill up the form on company site. Meanwhile, I continue learning, replace the projects from tutorial on my portfolio with progress tracker. I learned basic of TypeScript and I was getting invited for interviews, but nothing afterwards. Sometimes companies would request projects to do with certain stack. I would complete the project, feeling confident that everything is right and would never get the feedback. I would say job search is the most difficult part for self-taught developers. I have applied for over 600 jobs in total. It was feeling pointless to be rejected so many times, but I just decided to take the advice of all those great people on YouTube that say don't give up. So I continuously spend every three minutes on job search, watching job interviews. Even during my work, I was secretly training algorithms from code wars on the other side of the reports that I needed to submit. 14th of March, eight and a half months after I purchased Cold Scores, I finally have been offered a remote junior program position in a small company. In the same week, I have been offered as well support engineer job, but I have chosen the first option. Company turned out to be better than I could imagine. They didn't pay well, but I had an opportunity to work with really great senior developers they were always available when I needed their help. Very, very supportive. But how did I get much better paid job after another four months? Well, when I switched the work, I exchanged 11 hours of work for nine. In the past eight and a half months, I broke my ridiculously rigorous schedule only four times. It was simply feeling wrong to relax so much, so I gave myself some time off, but I still continued to learn and study after my work hours. When I told my boss that I'm leaving, he offered me 50% raise to stay, saying that he never had so conscientious employee. That's why I think main key to become self-taught programmer is discipline. Thank you for watching, leave thumbs up if you enjoyed my story and good luck for building your own successful roadmap.